Hello Investaholics and friends. Uh, today we're going to kick off our series uh, Investing for Beginners with What are ETFs? Uh, hopefully just a quick little run through for you guys um, just to get you up to speed before you start investing or you know to fill in the gaps that you may have. Uh, if you're new to the channel just uh, smash the subscribe button because that helps out the uh, YouTube algorithm and sort of brings my videos up to other people and see if we can broaden the audience a bit. Thanks guys, hopefully this one's enjoyable for everybody. Well, hello there investor Alex. this is Scott. Crack the Sky Value Investing will be giving you up to date investing news and content so you can navigate the markets wherever you are. My mission is to give you the knowledge and confidence to take control of your own personal finances. Expand your investment horizons and crack your financial sky. So the simplest way to think about an ETF is it's just a managed fund that you can trade on a stock exchange. So for instance, the ASX or wherever else you are. So ETFs cover all asset classes, including equities, fixed interest and cash. They uh, can you know, be also be broad. They can cover a full market or you know, multiple markets or be more specific depending on what you're looking for. You know, covering individual sectors such as property, commodities, you know, even down to gold and oil, which is quite popular at the moment. Uh, and banks, if you're looking for that type of sector uh, exposure. Uh, there are diversified ETFs that offer low cost access to thousands of securities across a wide variety of asset classes in a single trade. Uh, index ETF ETFs carry all the benefits of traditional index managed funds such as low operating costs, diversification, tax efficiency and simplicity. So this one I always say is uh, uh, ETFs are good for the lazy investor. Okay, let's have a quick look at the key points for index ETFs. Uh, traditionally, uh, ETFs have used an indexing approach uh, that seeks to track a specific market or sector index. So index ETFs carry all the benefits of traditional managed funds, such as low operating costs, diversification, tax efficiency and simplicity. They also have some of the benefits of the share trading, including continuous pricing, trading flexibility and low execution costs. The value of an ETF will, will uh, move in line with the index it tracks, so the underlying uh, companies. A 2% rise or fall in the index would result in approximately a 2% rise or fall in the ETF uh, price, uh, which tracks that in index. Uh, all other things being equal, so you know, typically 99% of the times that's what's going to happen. Uh, the quoted price of the ETF will uh, replicate changes in price of the underlying holdings throughout the day, or the expected change when markets are closed. Okay, so active ETFs, active ETFs trade on the exchange just like uh, any other ETF index ETFs I should say, which means they uh, share many of the same features and benefits. An active ETF doesn't track an index but rather uses a specific investment approach to achieve a particular outcome such as outperforming uh, a specific index or minimizing the impact uh, of market volatility. As the ETF market has evolved investors may have uh, access to a variety of active exchange traded products across the risk spectrum. So there's quite a lot of these um, in the market now and more, more and more becoming available every day. Uh, you know, you're looking at sort of factor-based active ETFs that are backed by physical assets all the way through to more leveraged or higher risk inverse ETFs, you know, bear type ETFs, um, you know, that offer potentially high returns, uh, but you know, with those high returns comes high risk. So, you know, if you want to trade those type of active um, ETFs, there's definitely uh, a higher risk associated with that. So hopefully 
this little quick presentation uh, give you some more information about ETFs. So hopefully uh, it was all good. Are you interested in learning more about personal finance and investing in the markets? If you are, then smash the like here on the left hand side and caress the subscribe button on the right hand side because Crack the Sky in Value Investing will be giving you up to date investing news and content so you can navigate the markets wherever you are. Expand your investment horizon and crack your financial sky. Thanks, guys. See you later.